Hi Jess. How are you? Good professor. I am very excited about this next lecture. It is a fun one. I am sure that you have been waiting for this topic. Yes. When I first started the course this is where I wanted to start. I wanted to talk all about what will take place in the lesson. Though now that we have been through the previous lectures I can see why that is jumping too far ahead. Wonderful. I am glad that it is becoming clear why we have to spend so much time in preparing to select the appropriate strategies for the topic and learners. Too often designers, and others, want to jump right into the activities, media, and delivery technologies without first really knowing what the instruction has to accomplish and how they will know it if it does. I agree. That was my tendency before taking this course. And now I am excited since I will be able to apply what we have learned up to this point to create something really engaging and targeted for the topic. My primary advice at this stage is to really look at the options and make an objective decision about what will work best for the particular topic and learners you are designing for. And if you are designing for other people to be the instructors, also think about what they are capable of delivering. It is easy to have favorite strategies or ones that you go to often, but as instructional designers we should know enough many different strategies that we can make quality decisions based on the previous design steps. That makes total sense. I do have my favorite, but I can see why there could be situations when it is not the best choice. I am so glad to hear you say that. Knowing your favorites and when to use them is key. Then you can look more objectively at the others. Okay professor, I do have to also admit however that I was not happy with the test last week. I did really bad and I was not expecting so many choose all the apply questions. Will there be a curve? Do not panic. The test is just one tool that I use to help determine how well students are comprehending the material. The tests are open book and thus they have to be pretty challenging so people can't look up every answer. But having taught this course for more than 10 years I can tell you that no students have ever failed just because they did not do well on the tests. And at the end of the semester I will look at the gradebook as a whole to see if there is good reason to offer extra credit or to curve grades. Overall I try to be tough but fair in my grading. That does make me feel a lot better. I was really upset that I didn't do better, but I also didn't know what to expect. Grades on the second test are generally a little better for that reason. Now you know what to expect with the questions. Okay, I am going home to start the readings for this lecture. If I have any questions I will be sure to email you. Thanks Jess. Talk to you soon.